Hello engineers, developers, and embedders here in the embedded space. We are at Embedded World in Nuremberg, Germany, and we are seeing some of the most exciting and interesting companies in the entire embedded space. I am so excited to be here with Joseph from Network Optics, an Intel partner, to talk a little bit about some of the exciting things that they've been doing on the Intel platform. Joseph, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the advantages of be building on top of Intel technology? Well, the Intel platform, especially the new Arrow Lake chip, um, it has so much uh, firepower on the chip itself. It has a CPU, a GPU, and NPU. And we can really make use of the GPU and NPU to really accelerate our AI applications. That's spectacular. So we've got this really interesting demo here going on with some computer vision, obviously. Can you tell me a little bit about what we're seeing? So this is uh, set up to be a point of comparison. Up top, we have just a normal object classification AI model that is you know, industry standard, and it, it runs everywhere, and it's quite powerful. Um, the problem with these types of models is if you want it to detect something novel, something new, you'd have to you know, have data scientists collect data. Um, you'd have to have a server farm to um, make new models and train new models, et cetera. And we're really excited, and we think it's a great application of the clip model from OpenAI. What it actually does is you actually give it some text prompts and it can um, show you or it can tell you which text prompt you give it best fits with the image on the screen. So for example, here we have a car crash. Um, it is very difficult to train a model to detect a car crash, but with Clip, I can actually give it some prompts here and I say, car not crashing, for example, or car crashing. So right now it's not seeing a car crashing, but as soon as a car, hap car crash happens on the screen, it can actually recognize that. And with network optics, video management software, you know, we have event-based rules. You can say, hey, when you detect a car crash, raise an alarm, send me an email, uh, set a GPIO pin on a device or whatever you want. Right. So you can really, this has a lot of applications and it really integrates well with our system. So obviously uh, a system like that has a broad capability set. It's not just for uh, detecting car crashes and that kind of thing. So can you talk a little bit broader about some of the computer vision applications that you're able to do with, with the Intel base and, and your software? Well, basically if you can describe it with plain text, that is an option for you to do. Um, so, you know, traffic is a big sector for us, so detecting car crashes also. If you have a traffic cam, like um, busy highway, empty highway, traffic. Um, we also have some demos with um, airports, for example. And that just crashed. <laughs> the internet in here is obviously very busy, so that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, what we have a lot of the times is especially like airports, you know, um, somebody loses a passport. Right. Um, then it takes security personnel just hours pouring through, pouring through video footage over and over again trying to find something. Yep. Um, with this application, you can actually just give it a plain text like, hey, can you find a passport for me? Yeah. And it can actually go through all your recorded footage and find that for you. Spectacular, that's really, really cool. So obviously this is leveraging a lot of AI tools. You were talking about being able to, to use plain text commands and things like that. Talk a little bit about how the AI capabilities are enabling these kinds of solutions, if you would. Um, so, you know, YOLO models are quite light and can run pretty fast. Um, the prompt, the clip model from OpenAI is a bit heavier, but um, on Intel with GPU acceleration, this is actually running quite fast and on the edge. That is something we really want to focus on, is actually having AI applications running on the edge. And with the Intel platform, it is very efficient. Um, and it is also a lot, a lot more flexible to um, preserve privacy. You know, we're in Germany. Um, Privacy is a, lot, is a big thing here in Europe. Yep. So um, if you have you know, AI running on the edge, you can actually just extract metadata and like no personal identifiable information ever needs to leave the device. Well, that's obviously uh, much better for being compliant with the regulations and things Precisely. like that. Thank you so much for your time, Joseph. Thank you. Really appreciate you talking us through it. Folks, we are here at Embedded World 2025 in Nuremberg, Germany, and we are going to keep bringing you all the most exciting companies, news, and products from the show floor. I am Ken Briota, your editor-in-chief of Embedded Computing Design, and we'll see you real soon.